do the right thing, please. We need some peace also. A big problem at the park. A family upset about noisy playground equipment bringing their concerns to the school board. Elizabeth Matthews joins us live now from Orland Park. Elizabeth. Yeah, Corey and Don, that family most impacted by that playground noise did speak tonight in front of District 135 here at the board meeting asking for the full removal of those musical instruments from that school playground, saying that it is causing them, those musical instruments are causing them extreme anxiety. Critics say that the neighbor's response was even more extreme. And I don't think that one person can withstand hearing instruments all day long in your home. The playground at Prairie Elementary in Orland Park got an upgrade in 2020. Part of that expansion included new interactive musical instruments, drums and xylophones. Good for the kiddos, bad for these neighbors. If you were going through what my family was going through, you would do everything in your power within your rights as we've done to be able to do, to be able to accomplish this. The Rayo family complained after the installation, but got nowhere. They say they can't work or sleep because of the noise. So they started blasting music toward the playground and recently vulgar music to get someone to pay attention to their struggles. This is not what we want to do, but nobody's listening to us. One parent shared with us what the kids were hearing. I feel bad that they were neglected for the two years, but still, it shouldn't be at the cost of the children. The music that my child has been subjected to is profane, sexually explicit. Police Chief Eric Rossi got involved last month, and while the bases remain, the instruments are gone. District 135 responding by reading a statement. There's nothing more important than the safety and well-being of our students and staff. The social media chatter about the playground situation at Prairie is unfortunate as the district considers this issue to be a matter of school safety. We did ask a couple of times of district leaders here at the school board meeting, either before or perhaps after, would like to speak with us, and they declined. Of course, they did read that statement uh, today at that board meeting, and they are still currently discussing this issue in a closed session. In Orland Park, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago.